everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to talk about some common problems that slow down that delivery foot and cost you precious distance. Now, remember, one of the things we talk about here at Air Today Throws Nation is our throwing chain reaction system, and we break that basically two seconds down into workable parts so that you can train. Now, here's one of the things we're going to look at today. Today, we have one of our throwers that's doing a half turn. We call it a modified wheel, half turns, 180s. Uh, and then we have a thrower that's working on a full throw. Now, both of these throwers have made really good progress since we posted this video, uh, but we want to kind of talk about a big cause. Now, if you're a member, be sure to check out during season. We have a uh, bi-weekly to weekly depending on what's going on members workshops where we'll go into this in depth and we will break it down and show exactly what throwing progressions what pillar drills we use to fix these guys okay so here's the first thing though one of the first things you're going to notice is watch this thrower's foot right here as it kind of stops rotating into the finish the upper body gets ahead of the lower body the foot is put down watch the rotation pretty much stop notice this the foot has stopped right here and now he's all upper body and he's throwing now you'll notice he's throwing an overweighted ball now the reason we're trying to train with an overweighted ball is we want to slow down the upper body feel the drag and feel the basically the delivery leg working to create stretch on the ball now it also of course helps develop specific strength but it helps to slow the athlete down develop that specific strength and create some different feelings because there's much more resistance now we look at thrower the throw number two over here doing a full throw who's made a lot of progress since then as well you're going to notice kind of here the foot's going to stall it's going to crash he's in a decent position but watch that foot pause you see that now the foot comes back here he's going to land close and now you're going to notice they're not too terribly off so these guys come from different coaching backgrounds have both learned similar but different things and so the trick that we have is trying to fix these issues so one of the things is as we look at things inside our throwing chain reaction system it's always about setting up alignment and setting up the chain reaction what is causing both of these throwers not to be able to rotate well it's a really simple thing if you look look at the upper body of this thrower look at as he goes look at the foot so the foot is loading forward so he's got the knee going this way and then he's got the upper body coming this way so the knees going this way and the upper body's coming this way so he's unwinding he's immediately losing separation this causes a shift so now the upper body the orbit gets off the the high point now again we're throwing an overweighted ball so it's really difficult to get that higher but we're still going to be working on trying to do that and so now as he lifts up the upper body is leading now he's got the touch and now as he actually loads there's no more ability for the lower body to go ahead because he shifted so the first problem was on a half turn looking at it here is he basically gets the upper body moving ahead so you see that the head the shoulder everything's moving into the throw and he's reaching okay so now he's completely open by the time he gets the foot down ready to throw the right foot basically is off the ground sliding and the upper body comes through you can see that the hips are facing this way and he's pulling across so the upper body gets ahead now when we look at the thrower here doing the full throw kind of the same thing you're gonna see but right here and again one of the things we talk about this is pillar one and then as he starts what we refer to as our pillar two the chest is starting to lead ahead now he's gonna wind up kind of in a similar position he gets the foot turned he's trying to slow down the upper body but the upper body is slowed down too late so the upper body's coming around now the upper body starts to open and he gets this pause right so now he reaches again you're going to see again similar position to this and but he catches that discus a little bit further back but the upper body has already started the trend of going forward he tries to feel it he feels a good block but you see where the hips are facing and he's off the right leg or his delivery leg and now he can't quite pull the hips around to get the longer pull on the implement so what's the moral of the story here and the lesson to take away from today's video you have to learn to slow the upper body down so remember for those of you that are tcr members we're going to go through this in a workshop break it down by 
talking about these throwing progressions, specific alignment, and specific pillar drills to help fix that. So for you on YouTube, what I'm going to do is kind of explain how can you simply start to look to fix this. Well, number one, you notice how this thrower rocks. The thing is, he's going to rock back, right, trying to get this. He's kind of got the, goes from the heel and he pushes to the toe. So this rock is teaching him to push here. What we would say is don't work that. Work on simply going straight down and turning because there will be an automatic amount of movement, right, from moving from the sprint leg, his left leg, to the power position. So we don't want to have forward movement because that creates too much shift. So down and turn. If you're a member, we have a drill called a squat and turn drill, and there are some very specific key mechanical points that we set up to teach that, and that will be covered in an upcoming workshop. So for you guys looking over here, same sort of thing. What are we trying to do? Now this thrower kind of gets to a pretty good position, but that upper body has to slow down as well. But where's the problem start? Starts back here in the beginning of the throw, one, two. Why is the chest leading? We're going to get into those details. This guy's close, but you notice how this sweep leg is kind of dragging behind. That's because that upper body is opening the wrong way, the path and a couple of the key angles. Chest needs to be a little bit more forward, but the sweep leg goes narrow, and it can't really go wide because he's pulling open with his entry side. So now he's gonna wind up landing here as he pulls everything behind, right? This is where he lands on the foot and now it can't rotate because the upper body's ahead again. He has to be able to stay on top. So remember, simple way to fix this is to practice on rotating down so that you are on top of the axis and turning into the throw. Okay, guys, so some simple tips out there, a little bit more for you kind of intermediate, advanced throwers and coaches. Hopefully you liked today's video. If you would like to see more or you have any questions, be sure to throw that in the comments below. As always, we request, please give us that thumbs up, comments, all that good stuff helps us out. Subscribe, turn on the notifications. And remember, if you would like to learn more about how to improve your throw and unlock your throwing potential, please click the link below to learn more about the Throwing Chain Reaction System. And we will see you on the next video.